Breaking news right now, the UConn student who led police on that multi-state manhunt earlier this year has been officially charged in a second murder case. Peter Manfredonia headed south after police say he killed two men in two different communities. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Zeller is live now with more new information on this story. Courtney? Well, hi, Dennis. You know, Manfredonia was already charged in the Willington murder where a 62-year-old man was killed, and now he is facing a list of other charges for the murder in Derby where a 23-year-old man was killed. A new mugshot for 23-year-old Peter Manfredonia, who is locked up in a Newtown prison. He was charged in the death of Derby man 23-year-old Nicholas Isley. Isley was shot in the head. He's also charged with kidnapping and home invasion. Police say Manfredonia kidnapped Isley's girlfriend, who he took on a joyride. He left her in New Jersey. She told police Manfredonia got an Uber in New Jersey, and he asked her if she was leaving. She said yes. Once he left, she called 911. The arrest warrant says in the 14-minute, 25-second 911 call to the New Jersey State Police, victim two can be heard telling details that Manfredonia told victim two about the home invasion in Willington, Connecticut. Before that, police say Manfredonia killed Theodore Demers. The 62-year-old Willington man was just trying to help him. Police also believe he heard another man there, then broke into a home and stole guns and a car. Manfredonia led police on a multi-state manhunt spanning four states. He was found at a truck stop in Maryland at the end of May. Manfredonia was in court for the Willington case. His attorney says the UConn student worked as a painter during the summer months. He was never in trouble with the law before. And with these two cases, he is now facing bonds totaling $12 million. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.